Oh God. Okay. So here here's here's how we'll start. Well, let me just say this, Rico, and then I'm I'm sure the doors are gonna fall off. Sometimes in life, and sometimes as a radio host, there's just crap that comes across your desk that is like so deliciously hypocritical. It, it, it almost seems like it, it can't be real. Like if it was a, a screenplay, you'd be like, I'm not green lighting this film. This yeah. is unrealistic. Yeah, this isn't what really happens in real life. Right. But honestly, nothing surprises me anymore. And, and I guess my message is for all the people who don't think the blue wall is a real thing, I, I, I just give you this Mozzie Smith situation. Now, understand something. I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to Mozzie Smith. I don't know Mozzie Smith, and I don't care. And frankly, it, it, what, what looks like, okay, because I'm going to tell you what it looks like. I'm big on optics. What it looks like is Mozzie Smith got popped with a gun the day before the Indiana game. I don't want to hear about filing. I don't want to hear about paperwork. I don't hear about nothing. Can I say he's a good kid? Yeah, uh, we're going to get to that. Okay. You got, you got popped for a gun, and you're up on a felony charge. But the problem is, Mozzie Smith, day before the Indiana game, was October 7th. What's today's date? I'm not good with calendars. December 1st. And Michigan has played seven football games since? I believe so. And he played in all seven? Yes. While the head coach and the AD knew he was facing a felony gun charge? Yep. And the head coach and the AD came out clutching every set of pearls their dead grandparents left them Mm -hmm. and wanted the MSU players one step from Archduke Ferdinand. Yes. Right? Okay. So then the Washington... That wasn't how a rivalry is supposed to be. Oh, we'll we'll get it. We've got the audio. And then you've got the Washtenaw prosecutor, who's a noted at U of M fanboy. Yep. Uh, Everyone has seen his socials, even me, and I'm not on social. Go Blue is in his bio. Finds a way to charge the MSU players before Mozzie Smith. Yes. And in the wake of Mozzie Smith against OSU and the big victory, and conveniently after media availability is over so Jim and Ward don't have to talk about it, the story surfaces today. That That's just the base understanding of what I have. Am, am I missing anything? Nope. Okay. So let me tell you what that looks like, because I can't prove it. It looks like... Michigan Athletics 101. This is their playbook. Mm -hmm. Just like when Donovan Edwards put out hate speech and anti-Semitic rhetoric, but he's a good kid. We're going to the museum. And he plays. Mozzie Smith, it's a felony gun charge. The first thing I thought of was, man, how would this be if Mel Tucker played Jaden Reed all year long Knowing he was up on a felony gun charge, or that was looming over his head, and MSU beats Michigan, and in the days following it, in the days following it, the Ingham County prosecutor finally comes forth with charges. Yep. I wonder what that. Oh wait, I know I, I, what, I, I that tell you what that is, was. Mike. That I, that reaction is, and we all know. Uh, he's running, it's a cultural problem at MSU. He's got a bunch of thugs and a thug program. And honestly, you would have a bunch of talking heads in this city and nationally calling for his job, saying, look at the type of program that he is running. He is not capable of running a a, a Power 5 football program. Now, let me tell you, the, the only thing worse than the silence is when you get the prepared statements. So, wait, wait. The prepared statement, because you you forgot one thing. The charges came out today, the day after media availability. No, I just said that. So, oh, okay. So, yeah, they can't be talked to no. for the rest of the time. So, here's your statement. Go ahead. So, let me read this to you, and I want to just tell you, none of this has anything to do with the decision to knowingly play this kid. Ward Manuel, we're aware of the charge against Mozzie from a traffic stop back in October. Mozzie was honest, forthcoming, and cooperative from the very beginning and is a tremendous young man. He is not and never has been considered a threat to the university or community. Based on the information communicated to us, we will allow the process to play out. Mozzie will continue to participate as a member of the team. So I ask you a question. 
And I don't, I don't want to power rank offenses. But my point is, good people do bad things all the time. Now, that doesn't make you a bad person. It means you're a good person who screwed up, right? I don't care about anything Ward just said. Because the only part I care about is, we're going to keep playing him. Yep. We don't care. Yep. And you're not going to say anything. Yep. And that's laughable to me. Because they've already gotten away with it for seven weeks. And, like, think about it. Like, what, what offense would they have sat him for? Would you have let it play out if he got pulled over with crack? I mean, he's a good, I'm sure good people and, you know, do crack once in a while. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a prostitute. Yeah, uh, no, I mean, my point is, like, you have to understand. You have to understand. You know what? And, no, you know, I said a friend sent something to me. Hey, Craig, do me a favor because I know you're listening. Blow it out your ass. Just win, baby? No, 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 no. Let me tell you why, Craig. See, now I'm going to address you directly, Craig, because you pissed me off. You texted me while I'm on the air. So we're just going to do this right now. Okay, Craig? You don't get to say leaders and best. Mm -hmm. You don't get to railroad other schools. You don't get to pretend you're above it all when you're just a collection of scumbags like the rest. You want to say just win, baby? Then drop the rhetoric. Drop the crap. And don't ever text me that during my show again. Period. Yeah. You don't get to play pretend. No. Ward and Jim sat up there. I've got the audio if you want it. And they said apologies aren't enough. These, these players should be prosecuted to the fullest extent. And they sat there knowing they had a guy on their own team who got busted with a gun. Not just a guy, Mike. A captain. A team, a team captain. No, that is the leader of the leaders and best. That is your example. That is who you want to pattern everybody in your program after your captain. Be like this guy, and maybe one day you can be captain too. Yeah. And, and you and, and knew again. this. You knew this the whole time, and yet and still, you wanted to clutch your pearls at what happened at Michigan State. He had a felony gun charge, but all I had to hear about, but the hell, you know what? You could kill somebody swinging a helmet. Last time I checked, so you can do the same thing with a gun. Not saying he was out trying to do anything no. with it, but no, 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 no. The fact that they, everybody was up in arms, the kid swung a helmet. Oh, my God, he should be kicked out. He should do this. But you knew this, Rico, players, and you said nothing. Players pushing and shoving missed four games. That's four more games than Mozzie Smith has missed. And I don't. you know what kills me? All they had to do was suspend him for a game or two, come yeah. out, be forthcoming, we got an issue, and we're good. Like, that's it. I don't want Mozzie Smith's career to be over. I don't want to see the kid if, if thrown in jail. And then, Listen. And if he made some honest mistake, well, look, you have to pay for those mistakes. I just find it so deliciously ironic mm -hmm. that the same alleged moral authorities who stood up there had a problem right in their own house mm -hmm. and whistled right by it. Right. See, that doesn't work. Right. And again, you know, when we brought up the prosecutor and his, how he looked to be compromised, he looked compromised. Go blue, anti-MSU rhetoric, right, you mean I'm the, at the game. The prosecutor that teaches at the U of M Law School? Right. It's just, guys, look at it now. Now look at it and tell me. Now look at it and tell me that it's not exactly what I told you. Right. This is basically we're back to 1974. And what I mean by that is... Harbaugh may as well be the prosecutor in Washtenaw County. The football program runs it all. You're never going to get to him, and the media at this point in time is as useless as, as they have ever been because, like Bo used to say, you know, if, if you go against my program, you're not, you're not going to be welcome here anymore. Ask anybody who covered the team all those years under his reign. We're right back to it. So you have a willing media, who many are nothing more than PR hacks, and the school does whatever they want. You had a running back send out hate speech. Don't worry about it. I talked to him. He's a good kid, and we're going to the museum. Plays the next week. Mm -hmm. And you got a team captain on a gun charge. Just kidding. Seven weeks down the line. He's a good kid, though, and stuff. And I'm yeah. like, look, just play it straight. You got a hell of a football team. The story should be about your football team. Do you realize that this story should have already been handled? Yeah. That, that, that's the problem I have in all of it.
Well, it's crazy. It's the hypocrisy and the fact that this is it. Probably after today, we won't hear a thing about this story. He'll go out there and you'll hear, ha ha, partner, look at Mozzie and that tackle. You think they'll bring this up? Well, first of all, can I Do you just think can... that Joel Klatt and uh, uh, uh. Gus Johnson would dare say anything about this? No, they won't. After today, this will be over. Michigan's already come out and says he's playing, just like he played in the right. seven games. So I why wonder, should we suspend him? What would the reaction be if Ohio State did the same thing? What would the reaction be if Tuck did it? The Seriously. program, what do you expect from a program like that? Oh, this is a bunch of degenerates. They're nothing like us. That's the problem I have in all of it, is just put the shoe on the other foot and explain to me how it's acceptable. And again, I think I, 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 I'll be honest. If I were the state, I'd be asking some questions to, to the prosecutor going, you do realize what this looks like, right, Eli? Yeah. You yeah. do understand what this looks like. Right. Yeah. Now, proving it and what it looks like are two different things, but I'm saying questions have to be asked. That, that, <laughs> this, is, this is goofy. Right. Questions is, yeah, because when he had to come out and explain, and I swear to God, it, it sounded like a guy who's just been busted and tried to explain wh- why it really wasn't cheating – it just looked that way, but it really wasn't. And he was like, well, because they asked about Imani Bates, because Imani Bates got popped uh, September, what, 17th, and a couple blocks away from where Mozzie got popped. And the difference is Bates, got a, Bates was charged within 48 hours because he actually got arrested right there on the scene. Okay? Cop saw him. Cop knew who he was, but he re- arrested Imani Bates. Bates got charged 48 so hours later. So what's the seven-week delay? Because the cop didn't allegedly do his job or her job. Mozzie didn't get arrested. Convenient. Mozzie didn't. And in so that time because he span, didn't, games against <clears throat> Michigan State, Penn State, and Ohio State take place. Yeah. And conveniently, days after this unbelievable win, it was an incredible performance, then you get the news dump. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just... The news dump after you can't even talk to Harbaugh anymore. No. Oh, Harbaugh had a prepared statement, though. Yeah. Tell me tell me if you care about any of this. I have respect for our judicial process, and with that respect brings confidence that a fair and just resolution is forthcoming. Mozzie's character and the trust he's earned over the past four years will continue to be considered throughout the process. Think about that. That's just, that's like the, that's word, that, that is all, that's like straw man. But that was the same thing. What they, does his character have to do, or the trust over four years, or whether he likes spaghetti or not, what does it have to do with getting popped with a gun? That's the part I can't square to circle on. But then you, you, you remember, this is the same school that had the Brandon Gibbons deal. Yeah. This is the same school where Ronnie Bell got back on the field. Yeah. This is the same school that, that, that did it with Donovan Edwards weeks ago. Think same, about it. Dude, same, Harbaugh never <clears throat> had to address it because a regent came to his aid. Right. That's same, crazy. Same school. Your team captain on the hoop team, Xavier Simpson, driving Ward's wife's car. That Ward has still yet to talk about. Yeah, I never will. So, I don't know, man. You can do what you want with it. I, I, You can hear it in my voice. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the whole game. I'm tired of all of it. Like, I don't want nothing bad to happen to the kid. No, and I and I can't I can't tell you for a fact any of what happened. I can tell you what it looks like. I can tell you how convenient it is. Yeah. I can tell you how bad it is that it's just after media availability closes, just after the OSU game. Like that's what it and, looks like. And just like, how guys. bad it looks because I remember after the state thing, all the media on, on national news, this is a horrible thing. Look at this. This is a black eye to college football. And this happens and it's yeah, you know, boys will be boys. Stuff happens. He's a good kid, Mike. And look, whether it's an honest mistake or not, I'm not trying to be a real Richard about no, it. No, no, no. It's the fact of, yeah, when when it was another team that didn't wear maize and blue. Uh, but it's why I said right. the tunnel was used as a tool to burn down MSU's program yep. and Mel Tucker and do what Michigan has done best throughout the course of history. Go And if you need a history lesson, yeah. I'm not your daddy. You can go do the reading. So that's, that's where I became offended. I said from the start, whoever swung that helmet, get him gone. But the idea that the, uh, the other players got held hostage, e- even certain guys didn't get charged, still right. missed the last yeah, four Malcolm games Jones of the year. Malcolm Jones never got charged. Couldn't play. And Mozzie Smith has paid no price. And conveniently and will not pay a price. And conveniently won't. And that's where I have an issue. So you guys can take it where you want. And my guess is you won't take it anywhere. 
And I'm fine with a just win mentality if you act that way.